This is my Office 365 subscription. If I go to domains, you can see there planktronics.onmicrosoft.com is the name of my domain. So if I now go to um, Windows or Microsoft Azure, and I'll start that in an in private browser. Okay, so I'm now logged into the portal and I can now come down to Active Directory. There's an existing directory, so I can uh, add a new App Services directory and I can use an existing directory. Um, okay, so I'll sign out. Admin at Geektronics on Microsoft .com. Uh, Yes. Okay, now I sign out, and I think I should have a tab open somewhere for that. Is that one? Electronics Co. UK. So if I now uh, scroll down to Active Directory, refresh. There's the second directory. If I come in here now and look at, for example, users, these are all the users that exist in my uh, in my Planktronics Office 365 directory. So, for example, Alex Darrow. If we go there and have a look, uh, domains. And I go to. Uh, just lost us our users and we can see there Alex Darrow Alex D at planktronics.onmicrosoft.com so I'm hoping that other tab is open the active directory here Alex Darrow at planktronics.onmicrosoft.com so it's just a way of getting the office 365 directory into your Azure AD portal so that you can manage it as an Azure resource rather than as an Office 365 resource. I hope that makes sense.